road and live in Sugar Land tonight with the insurance lapse that is impacting families all across our state. Andy? Dominique and Chris, when a child is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, parents are often told that applied behavior analysis therapy is their best bet. And the earlier they start, the better. Last year, it was supposed to be covered by Texas Medicaid, but more than 70,000 children in Texas who are eligible for this benefit, if they need it, still don't have access to it. Paying for what many experts consider the gold standard treatment for children with autism spectrum disorder is as expensive as sending your kid to college. You have to come up with a large, huge chunk of money um, at least yearly to cover it. Mary Beth Caroso says without health insurance, it's nearly impossible to afford, but... It's been life-changing for him. I mean, and he was a different kid last year. Caroso says she shouldn't even be paying out of pocket to get her nine-year-old son Mitchell that life-changing therapy. Texas Medicaid was supposed to start covering applied behavior analysis therapy last year. After the legislature approved the benefit for all Texas children enrolled in Medicaid. But here we are, November 2020, and so many Texas families like Caroso are still waiting. It's kind of like having a medical diagnosis like diabetes and not getting your insulin covered. You know, it's super important for them to live. Six years ago, federal Medicaid regulations required states to start covering necessary autism treatments, including ABA. Texas was among the last to include the coverage, yet the program still hasn't been rolled out. The Medicaid coverage is, is crucial, and that's what everyone's been fighting for. Autism advocates continue to press the issue with state lawmakers. We understand that given COVID-19, the state has been under uh, tremendous pressure to meet a variety of needs. What I would like to draw attention to, though, is that uh, these children have suffered immensely. Mitchell stopped ABA in March because of the pandemic. He has, you know, 15 tantrums a day at school. He's not getting any education. Caroso, who no longer has insurance that will cover it, is now shopping around for a medical policy that will. Having the coverage through Texas Medicaid would be a huge burden off her shoulders in more ways than one. The financial struggle is huge. The amount of work and the mental exhaustion constantly trying to be on top of it. Autism advocates are encouraging Texas families to contact their senator or their state representative to shake the branches of the tree, if you will. We reached out to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick's office asking why the delay in implementing this program here in Texas. Tonight, we are awaiting a response. Live in Sugarland, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Andy.